Guys, I'm uh, gonna show you how I retrofit uh, the blind spot assist, side assist. We're gonna start it from the mirrors. Have to connect LEDs, which we have in the mirrors, to through the door plug from the mirror inside and here. We have to do that both sides. We have to connect as well that plugs from inside into the sensors which they're gonna be installed here uh, one each side and yeah so I try I try to do that by myself we will see that that's easy or not right so that's the wires to go down here inside I have to strip that everything off very hard, very tight. It's going inside and that way. So that's the end and have to be connected here. Right, so so I have to connect it to the right plug and then from inside as well. But that was hard. So this is the retrofit of blind spot side assist or light change assist, whatever you call and Mark 7 Gold. That bracket came with the sensors and so I just have to only remove this bolt and this one on the bottom here and uh, the bracket went through in straight away and I just added one, one nut here. And cable go that way to another sensor and go inside it's going out here oh, let me raise the light so uh, very handy because I didn't have to pull all cables through so I connected cables which going this way to the front all the way through. Let's go other side. So they go that way, nice and I just tie them, you know, by the tape, and they go up to the doors. This is the door uh, connector, which basically. I already connected two cables for a mirror and the mirror LED and they are connected into the pin number one and pin number two. So I did the same here. That's the cables which they go from the back sensors. So they are connected into the pin number one and pin number two. So I have to put that together right now this side and just put the cables on the other side and I recorded video uh, how I connected that everything. Right guys, this is the other side, uh, passenger side in my case. I replaced the BCM, that's the old one. And uh, this is 2019 Golf GTI that I just recorded. I connected this side pin number one and pin number two this is the two cables for the mirror blind spot and uh, they are already connected in 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 the mirror so um, I did that before so right now I have to just put back together I had a little bit mess here with the cables cause there is a lot of things connected um, like the line assist, the side assist, there is as well hand for the TPMS, so everything basically I keep it here because it's quick access, it's not much room, so but basically I try to do the nice and tidy but To remove the component protection from the DCM as well, and we will see that everything will work. 
So I put in that glue box, connect screen here, hopefully it's gonna be well connected. Oh, it's not a big deal to take off the glue box. And now I have to remove the component protection. Right. First start will be loads of errors. So blind spot, it's retrofitted, everything is working as should and there was no problem actually with the coating. There is a small change in the cluster coating 17 um, and that's it, nothing serious. The blind spot connected for the same can as the, as the line assist. Uh, line assist blinds yeah they just working on and the uh, and the front assist they just working on the same can yeah so basically when the car is beside you you still see him in the mirror but the mirror has uh, LED so anyway let's say we switch that off and we back on so we will see the LED came up just for the testing and um, so it's just working okay I have as well new buttons so um, there is a dedicated uh, button for those assist oh yeah by the way the, the pedestrian assist it's not working because um, my camera it doesn't support pedestrian assist I have to change basic camera and that's gonna work yeah, there is one more thing which I which I did in the same time when I do the, the blind spot because the glove box in my case uh, right hand drive car was out I could uh, I could remove you know and replace the BCM so the BCM basically what give me BCM BCM gave me uh, profiles which I didn't need that actually I didn't do that for the profiles that's that's the one feature you know it's it came just like this but basically I did that for um, the background lighting which is the RGB so so yeah so we can change the colors for the radio and the clocks and um, the colors basically which which they came here the LEDs they um, they just only white I, I, I don't have a plans to change them they mad expensive so uh, it's no point completely to do that I'd be happy to have a here LED but um, if I will see somewhere you know I'm gonna I'm gonna get them um, so could be white as well I don't mind you know um, if um, if they came with the colors um, I don't think I just probably keep it white so very happy you know of that um, of that RGB um, so just a little change on the clocks um, 32 colors and of course you know from this way we can regulate it a lights for the door and for uh, the food well so so basically that's why I changed the BCM there is a little bit problem with the BCM coding it's not so easy to retrofit BCM from MK7.5 to the MK7 Golf there is a completely different channels um, like even like indicators they just work completely different um, the Leuchte channel they more or less the same but they still need a little bit of attention and a little bit knowledge about uh, for the coding I didn't have that knowledge it, it's take me a long time to do that you know just asking on some forums uh, for help um, so um, 
some things I catch by myself. I'm working as well with the, the light switch position. So I try to get when the lights they are off and they need to be on. Um, I have information, switch the lights on. So, which I want that. This is actually a good thing. It's more safety to drive on the lights. Right now I have to move on, just waiting for the uh, sensors. And I'm gonna do that, you know, park line assist 3-0. So, um, that's it. Thank you very much, guys. Keep going with the all retrofit in Mark 7 dogs.